fighter? Can she become a real superstar? Youth and senior Olympic champion. She's a two-time world champion as well. Can she make it free and join a very, very elite list? Thank you for joining the elite group here as we look at the tail of the tape. Panipak Wompasanaki is three centimetres taller in terms of the leg length. A couple of years older at 25. The Thai fighter and Merva Dinchel from Turkey. She, of course, is in blue. The Thai fighter, you can guess which colour, but who's going to get the gold in this one? All set up nicely. And Merva Dinchel, she's known for being aggressive, but you can see straight away, Aaron, the level of concentration. Definite focus. She knows that Panipak is so good with that front leg, so she is ready to block it off. Doing a great job so far. Of course, if you are joining us, first to two will do to become the champion in Baku. Easy to see, hard to do, good balance there from Merdin Child as well. If both feet step out there, you could take a gam jump, which is the penalties at the bottom left and right of the screen. Halfway through, you'd have got short odds and it'd been 0-0 halfway through this yeah. round. Both fighters know each other so well, just cancelling each other out at the moment. Dinsel doing a great job standing in the closed stance, super aware of that front leg, cancelling it any means necessary. Cancelling out the quality of Panipak Wompatanaka, easier said than done. At the moment, no registrations on the protector yet. Could a punch proof pivotal as it does there? That was worth a go. A couple of lights went on for it. Great attempt, Panipak now has the yellow score so she is leading on registrations right now 15 seconds to go the clock ticking Panipak has that minor advantage Merdin Chell tries with the back leg turn and kicks a little look at the scoreboard nothing doing the only thing that is moving is the clock then Chell tried to cover but Panipak takes the acclaim there and you could see by the reaction there right on that last registration it went to a tight score again with under 10 seconds to go that last registration by Panipak took that round so you're telling me the tied score was for the Thai fighter exactly <laughs> tied it up nicely as you see the last registration how well can she last in this one and of course, formerly Che Young Sok, but now Cha Cha E Che. Ali Sahin, the coach in the corner here. Encouragement though in the two key corner. Definitely she did a great job of cancelling out that front leg. Now she just needs to find an answer to put a score on the board. You know, she was unlucky a couple of those punches, those back legs. So she needs to find an answer this round to stay in this final. the elite group three-time world champion we saw Bridget Yagwe before in the coaching corner your very own Bianca Walton trying to go one better Bianca Cook now Bianca Cook of course well she was Bianca <laughs> Walton when she took the title so I'll just try and cover my tracks there <laughs> don't tell her I said it but it's all about Panipak one pack and it she has the lead can she go into that hat-trick club Merva Dinchel trying to push forward Twist and kick in the inside, does well for the tuck. Great twist kick, that's what I was saying earlier, that awareness after the cancel, can she find anything off it? Great twist kick to the blind side. There's another response there. Panipak landing nicely.
nothing in it at the moment. Tide scores, tied on registrations. A minute to go. Panic pack standing steady in the centre. Merdin Chell trying to turn up the intensity. Has a little shake out of the legs, trying to move around. She's done a lot of covering and work here. Good balance as well. Doesn't give away the gam, John. 45 to go. Merdin Chell will need to find something here to stay in this final on the back foot she needs to be careful if it if it does go to a tight score we're seeing a video replay from the Thailand corner for a face kick yeah, as you see all tied up at 2-0 Three points, the head signal here. There was a little flick up to the face. I mean, certainly they know what they're doing. Team Thailand, what a throw of the dice here. Yeah, in real time, we couldn't see it, but the kicks are coming that fast. Yeah. There for Dinsel. Had done so well to block all the way through. Is there any contact there, Aaron? It's really close again. If anything, a toe on the nose. This is never fun. Will it be the smell of success? It will not. Card in the pocket. The toe says no, and on we go. 22 seconds on the board. Two points each. Video review gone. 20 seconds. Into the dying embers of this one. We're still all tied up. Merva Dinsel has the yellow light on. Can she produce? Uh, third and decisive final round she can, you know. Great score right at the end. Takes that round 4-2, really well done. Played a very, very cautious game. Not letting anything through, super focused. And she, Panny Pack just made that small mistake there, being a little bit over anxious to try and win the world title. Just left her body open slightly. We go to a deciding round. And as you go all the way back across the mat there, obvious you know disappointment we saw it yesterday you think you've won the title you haven't hard to shake that definitely is really hard but she she's a champion i'm sure she's been in this situation multiple times before she knows what she has to do to get the job done refocus and it's all on this last round well, what a world championships we've had so far every single fight that we've seen has been fantastic it's been amazing hasn't it been really really good all the athletes have turned up We've had some great fights. It's been nail biting. Big fights and the big nights in Baku. Galanda Fire heating up nicely here in this penultimate final. The women's under 49 kilograms. As you can see, the scores on the board. The top left of your screen. One each, but there's one straight to the face there. Ali Sahin up with the card. That looked clean and clear. Yeah, she, she's confident in that one. Signaling to her corner. She wants the video replay. So the video review, of course, for the speed at which it happened, if it kicks to the face, there's sensors on the head guard. If they don't take it, obviously you're not getting any sensors on your face. But this one, Aaron, looked like a good call. It looked good, yeah. I think Panny Pack knows this one as well. You could see in her face. She the reaction, accepts, yeah. yeah. She accepts that this is, this is going to be a three-pointer. Yeah, it looks clean. Yeah, as clean as you like. Thumbs up indeed from the video review jury. Thumbs up for Team Turkey. Turkish delight at the moment. Will it be sweet success for Merva Dinsel or can Pani Pak Wompatanak it? She's conceded three points. But she can still go for three titles. Tries to come forward again. We know she's got the head kick capacity. A minute and 45. Now she just has to try and hold this lead. She's done a great job of avoiding those head kicks from Pani Pak so far. Pani Pak will be throwing absolutely everything she has at Merv Dinsel. Another head shot, great front leg, 6-0. Healthy lead. We are not writing the Olympic champion off just yet. 
Yep, right and off at our peril, almost landing one there. A minute and some change to go. Mervyn Dinsel, though, if you want to produce a headshot like that in the World Championships, that's the time to do it. Two back to back. Definitely. Amazing, amazing timing. Beautiful front legs. And reading it so well. Really, really nice. She's super focused. Panipak picking up that gam jump for falling, falling down there. Merv extended, extends her lead 7 0 under a minute it certainly is the clock ticking well everyone knows how hard it is to achieve the treble only mm. the greats manage that and Panipak Wampatanaki seems to be in a bit of bother now Mervyn Dinsel running down the clock Panipak changed stance there she's definitely under pressure that looks like another great head kick just getting her distance wrong slightly She's behind by a big score, so she needs to do something. Hit one, Panipak one Patanak, it had to go for it there. Walking into the front leg. This could be absolutely vital in sealing the title. Eventually, eight points in 30 seconds is still really difficult, but maybe by 11, and that could be certainly enough to take the title. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it, as well? That looks clean. Look at the flexibility. Her leg is almost extended which she's nearly in the splits throwing that kick from a close distance amazing textbook technique can she write a new chapter in Turkey's history Merve Dinchel coming into this one double European champion three time Grand Prix silver can she take her first ever world championship title Merve Dinchel working away good punch She's been accurate, she's been strong. The Olympic champion trying to finish with a flourish, lands one of her own, but the clock ticks down up on her toes as Merv Dinsel of Turkey. She came in with a broad grin. She's going to go out as the world champion. What a performance from Team Turkey's Merv Dinsel. She's excelled and done so well. It's Merv Dinsel, the world champion in Baku. What a reaction. I hope someone's reinforced that map. The power punches and powerful scenes with her coach. What a performance. That last round was probably one of the best rounds she's had in her career. And it had to be to take the world title off Pani Pak. Absolute stunning. She's done the double this year over Pani Pak. We could have a new massive, massive champion, which she is. She's already the world champion, but a force to be reckoned with in the under 49s female division. Flying the flag high, Merton Sale, as you say, a new force, a new star. And she's shone brightly here in the back of the night sky. Ali Sahin, the coach, knows what that feels like. What a combination. We've actually done it. It's just settled in. Huh? We've just done it. We're world champions. What a feeling. So happy for them. Beautiful scenes in Baku and a pleasure to share it with you. Panipak won't pat an at confirmation then with a silver medal and the creeping realisation look at that the determination that we spoke of on the way in she's a tough tough fighter really gutsy great great to see great performance from Panipak again to get into another world final she's so consistent she's a great great athlete I know she'll be disappointed not to make it three world titles, but I'm sure she'll be back. Well, Fanny Pack will be back to collect her silver medal, but collecting gold for Team Turkey. Merved in sale. Just striding past the commentary booth there. And she'll be striding onto the podium to take gold in just a few moments' time. What a shot that is. Finishes with a flourish. Hands down, feet up. Team Turkey's Mervid in Sale excels in Baku. The champ for the first ever time. Well, it all comes down to this.